Many people are concerned about the safety of produce they find in the grocery store after widespread E. coli outbreaks linked to lettuce just last year. As CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprazia shows us, researchers are now looking for new ways to ensure the food you eat is safe. Well, that's what we're looking for there. John Bolte's fields of romaine lettuce are ready for harvest. During the winter, farmers in Yuma, Arizona grow more than 80% of all leafy greens consumed here in North America. We're working to make sure that every single serving is safe. But many people have questioned the safety of lettuce after two E. coli outbreaks last year, which killed five people and sickened more than 200 others nationwide. It led stores to pull all romaine from their shelves. Folks in our business will work as closely with them as they would like and try to get to the bottom of it. But some of these things can be very difficult to uh, identify, uh, especially weeks and months after the fact. Now, scientists are looking for new ways to stop the spread of foodborne illness. We're out in a natural environment and, and you're always fighting against those possible incursions. Paul Brierley from the University of Arizona says while crops are tested now for contaminants, results may not be available till the products are already on store shelves. Brierley and other researchers are working on ways to change that. They want to eventually develop scanners that could be used on harvest or out in the field. The technology would immediately spot the smallest contamination and allow workers to pull that produce before it ever reaches your food supply. You would know right away if there was E. coli or, or salmonella or something like that. Scientists are also working with farmers to engineer a new breed of crops which would be resistant to disease and drought. The same lettuce that I cut here out of this field, Chris, same thing I'm going to take home and feed to my family. That's why Boltez supports any new ideas which can prevent future outbreaks. Getting answers for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprazier.